feeling like pussy in my most Uh, be your friend just tell him, beat it up I'm a little secret, I'm a little You might be Hello. Hello, my beautiful, fabulous, iconic friends. It's me, Alexis Barber, and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name's Alexis. I am 23. I live in Brooklyn. I work full time in big tech, and I'm also a content creator. And if you can see my apartment right now, which I guess you can in the mirror, I'm in a state of disarray. I just got back from the Dominican Republic for a little vacation with my boyfriend the last four days, five, six days. Now it is Monday, it's President's Day, so thank God I have the day off. And I'm going to LA tomorrow for work. So this vlog is gonna be me heading to LA for work. I'm gonna be there from Tuesday to Sunday. So I'm only gonna be working Tuesday to Friday, obviously. And then I booked myself a stay in the One Hotel West Hollywood for the weekend. I am so excited because last time I went to LA, I just feel like I was in a different place. I had just gotten this new job. I didn't really know too many people there. And now I have too many people to see while I'm in LA, which is why I extended my stay, but it's gonna be a super busy week. It is currently 10 a.m. I woke up at seven and Jeff helped me shoot three sponsored content videos. So that's what I've been doing the last two hours and those are finally, I think, done. And so it is time for me to pack for LA. So I thought I'd do that with you, but no vlog of mine is complete without a PR unboxing. So let's do it. I'm super anxious, but I'm, I, I'm not super anxious, but I am, there's a lot to be done today. I need to get my nails done. I need to get, I'm getting a new phone because I'm super tired of my iPhone 12 and I need to find an outfit because the reason I'm going to LA for work is for a creator event tomorrow. So I need to find an outfit for that. And then I have the podcast recording today. And then Tali's mom's treating us to dinner to celebrate the podcast launch. So we have dinner tonight too. So once I get my content done, I think I'll feel much calmer, but let's start with PR. So this is from Ilya. Um, I hear such good things about this foundation, so I'm excited to try it. I hope the shades work out. Now we have Laneige. I, get, I told you guys, like, Laneige fucking gets it. I tell you guys, I get so much good PR from Laneige. How fucking cute is that? Gorgeous. Oh my God, two of the masks. The little candy hearts, some of these. And then I think this is stationary. Adorable. They like know how to do PR, but like it takes me way longer to go through your products than you think it does. And this one I already started opening, but I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a candle. It says smells like money from um, Elvest. They sent it. I love Elvest. Oh my God, that's so cute. I fucking love that. And it says, rooting for you always. Dear Galentine, you showed us just how strong community can be. This is so cute. Adorable, I love that. Last one is from ColourPop. But yeah, guys, so while I'm in LA, the first few days I'm gonna stay at a hotel that's near my office, because my office is in Playa Vista which is near the airport, and it's kind of far from like the city, so I'm staying down there to start. And then, for the weekend, I'm gonna go to the city and stay in West Hollywood, and this apartment, this hotel room I'm staying in is actually the prettiest, most beautiful that I've ever seen in my life. I booked it with Amex Travel, obviously, and I just am so happy. So, oh, a New York Knicks ColourPop combo. What? NYX Glitter Face Stickers. NYX Glitter. Are they like playing in something? Like a game? Because if I ever go to a NYX game, that could be cute. But I live, ne I live in Brooklyn, so I hope this is a Brooklyn Nets one. Yes, it is. Thank God. Because I'm a Nets girl, apparently. Nets. Nets face stickers, palette, that's cute. Okay, fun, fun, super fun. And then I ordered a gym wrap, which is like a hair wrap 
for black women who work out. And it's founded by Nicole Ari Parker. She's the one who played Lindsay Todd Wexler in the new Sex in the City. She's a black woman and she's stunning. But basically a gym wrap is something you wrap around your head and then once, and then basically if you have your hair done or something, once you're, you like keep it on for the entirety of your workout and until your hair dries. And then it'll like keep your edges like in check. So I don't have my hair done right now, but this is what it looks like. And this is like the only thing I've heard that works from black women. So I'll try it and I'll let you know what I think. But, oh. Amazon package. I don't know what I ordered. But I've been going a little too hard on Amazon recently. Oh, it's from my mom. Cute. She sent me some chocolates. I'm going to eat these right now because I'm unwell. Alright, now it's time to pack and get my life together. Featuring Hira Deli. Thanks, mom. So... I'm about to leave to go to the Apple store, but I wanted to show you my progress from packing. So this is like my sleep stuff that I need to take with me. This is my workout and underwear stuff. You know, I usually do like three big packing cubes, like workout, underwear, sleep. And then in here, the way I did it this time was office outfits because I'm going to go to the office every day. Oh, I actually need three office outfits. So I think I'm much better off than I thought I was. And then this is like my weekend outfit. So for weekend, I have like two going out looks, two daytime looks. So I'm actually using Jeff's suitcase because mine is a little bit smaller. I think his is a 30 inch one and mine is a 26 inch one. And since when we went to the DR together, he put like a good amount of my stuff, like my blanket and my pillowcases in his. So I felt like I would need this, especially because I'm bringing more bags this time because of all the things I'm doing. So right now I am headed to Apple store. Oh, also oh, all the other shit that's out here that needs to be packed. Like, <sighs> okay. So, but I feel much better because I talked to Talia about dinner tonight and we are going at 6 p.m., which is so nice because 6 p.m. is much better for me. Um, I thought it would be at like eight and then I wouldn't get home until like 10 or something like that, which would be difficult, but it's at six. So I'm gonna go to the Apple store, get my new phone. Then I'm going to call my nail place probably on the way back and be like, hey girl, got time for 1.30. And then most of all, I, I do wanna do a new set and a gel pedicure, but my thing is that might take a little bit. So I might just remove this because my nails, the girls who get it, get it. Okay. It's not going to focus. My natural nails are getting pretty long. So I feel like I could get away with just taking them off and doing like a regular gel on top. After nails, we have the pod recording. And after the pod recording, we're going to dinner. Okay, bye. Oh, here's my outfit. It's like 41 degrees today, which is not bad. So this is like, this is bum central, genuinely. But these are the Viore leggings. They are my most comfortable leggings by far. Target top, random, uh, sit, rent the runway jacket, and my Uggs. In a rush. So I came home because I realized I would need to use Wi-Fi to set up my new phone and that I did not schedule time to eat. So. I went to my favorite Daigo Sushi. We got the lunch special, two rolls, miso soup, unmatched. And now I'm going to finish packing and doing all that stuff. And then I guess I'll leave in like two hours to go find an outfit for tomorrow's event. Trying not to be exhausted. So basically that means I can't get my nails done and like they kind of don't look amazing. But, and like my toenail is chipped, but I'm just going to try my best to not be stressed about it like I do feel like going to LA especially I did want to like look my best but I already can't get my lashes done because my lash girls are booked and I can't get my nails done so we're just going to go with it like we have other things to do so it, I had 24 hours here like there was no way I was getting all that done so all good and oh the phone duh it's so cute so cute it actually fits my hand the reason I didn't like the other phone was that I had to hold it like that 
be ruining my pinky, so it feels amazing. I love it. I also ended up getting a new case, so I got a, a leather case from Apple and a privacy screen protector. So as you can see, like the screen is on, but only I can see what I'm doing because I'd be editing too many TikToks for the world so like to know. So, and I also got a new, I got the battery pack basically. So that's like, it's like a portable charger and I'm gonna see if that, the guy said he didn't love it. So we'll see if I like it or not. And then I also got a new watch charger because I don't have one. So that's the tea. Now I'm going to keep working and then I'll show you when I'm fully packed and oh, maybe I'll show you, but I don't even know. We'll see. Hola, baddies. It is now about 2.50. I'm trying to leave here by 3 p.m. to go into the city. I say that like as if it's far, but like to go to our recording and do record, all right, we're gonna record at four today because it's a holiday. And then, but before that I need to pop into Zara to grab an outfit for the event tomorrow. I packed pretty much everything and I cleaned my apartment, which was just like overflowing with boxes and shit. And my phone is still like downloading all the information and you know, doing all that. So right now, I feel pretty good about everything I packed. I feel pretty good about this week. I do also feel, you know, sad I couldn't get my nails done, but those are, hey, the world has bigger fish to fry. So I am feeling a little like dry in terms of things to chat about today. Like probably just cause I'm exhausted and also probably because I haven't like really consumed social social media in like a week i like kind of consumed in the dominican republic like it was so much fun first of all i loved it we stayed at an all-inclusive resort called excellence el carmen and we went there after our friends had um went this summer and they really liked it and so we had a pretty good idea of like what to expect upon getting there i'm gonna write a way more in-depth like blog post in case you guys want to go but it's like I think a really amazing, affordable, destiny, like luxury, not luxury, like it's technically ranked four stars, right? But I wouldn't call it like a luxury destination because like I've stayed at the Four Seasons or the Ritz or whatever. Those are five star hotels and they're like nice and this place was nice, but it's not like the Four Seasons. Like basically the two main complaints that we had, everything else was perfect. Like I would, 100% go back like in a heartbeat. In fact, I'm planning on taking my mom and my aunt and my cousin for um, my mom's 40th birthday. Like I plan on taking them. However, this, these are the two main complaints we had is that the building was a little bit outdated. So the bathroom had some like the rust and like the finishes weren't amazing in there. And two, the food was like not amazing. Like the food did not take away from the experience. It wasn't like we were eating bad food, but it wasn't good food. Like we weren't excited about any of the meals we had. So we went for a reason and that was for convenience and relaxation and we got that. But I don't wanna sit here and say, go to this place, it's 100% amazing. Everything is perfect about it. And then you get there and you're like, hmm, the bathrooms are a little outdated and hmm, the food isn't good. So I try to be very in depth and I don't want that to come off as like, I'm complaining or saying it's not good, like it's amazing. But the girls on fucking Instagram, when I'm like trying to explain things, I feel like there's always a DM like, oh, is this just always a DM? Like not criticizing, but like questioning what I said. And like, honestly, at this point, like opening my DMs gives me a headache. Like I get tired because I just feel like there's always something that I've done wrong or something to be discussed. So I'm just a little exhausted from that. The uh, rest of the day though should go pretty smoothly. Um, we're gonna go to dinner um, nearby the Betches studio. Betches, Betches is in like Flatiron? No, it's in like West Chelsea. I am probably gonna go shop wherever the Zara has. I'm gonna go to the shopping wherever Zara has the pantsuit set that I want because that's the whole reason I'm going to Zara because I was gonna order from Rent the Runway. I was gonna order something for this event, but then it said nothing was gonna come until the 22nd because today's a holiday. 
So I wonder if we even have mail today. Oh no, I think we do because I had a FedEx delivery. But anyway, I'm wearing a super basic outfit because we're going to dinner afterwards. This Aritzia top Abercrombie jeans. I really do wish that I looked better. Like I wish I had a better look. Oh, my brows, we forgot to wear brows. Putting on my YSL, Mademoiselle. I really wish I could take all my perfumes with me to LA because I just want the options, but I cannot. But yeah, I'm using Jeff's suitcase and those extra few inches are game changing. I'm not even fucking joking. Like it's actually super, super helpful and nice to have them because like I'm pretty much done packing. Just have to put my makeup in and I still have like that much space in there which is amazing so yay all right gonna go record We ha you have to just turn your Wi-Fi off while you walk. I do, but it automatically turns back on again. Everybody, yeah. does it do that? Please, actually, could you have your followers comment on my slip back? Yeah, look, hey, give us a 360. I think she did a great job. Is that one of those MEJ clips? I wish. No, I'm not I'm not expensive like that. No, but they're, they're it's cute. It's from Urban. It's cute. You're an Urban girl. Um, The biggest Urban outfit. Oh my girl. goodness. Just... So we're recording in the, st in the stew with, um, Oh, I knew. This one says we need our own show, but we have one, so. Hello, baddies. It's now Tuesday, February 22nd, and I am about to head to the airport. I'm gonna give you a little overview of my outfit. It looks so ugly, but the rest of this vlog and the next vlog are gonna be on my phone because I just can't bring my camera with me everywhere and I probably would barely use it at the hotel anyway. So sorry about that in advance, but I just got the iPhone 13, so I think it's gonna be good anyway. So we got this big check bag, um, it's Jeff's, and I am so glad about it that I think I might even get the base one that's that size because that was really nice to just be able to throw everything in there and it worked super well. And I'm also cheating on base with my Koyana bag, my tote bag that I'm bringing with me because I brought the backpack last time but I kept having like a bunch of back spasms and so Jeff was like, maybe it's the backpack. I know tote bags are worse for your back, but I am gonna be going to the office every day, so I feel like having a tote bag is gonna be worth it. Speaking of the office, I have to make sure I have my badge in there. Then um, taking the Prada, so I'll show you my fit and let's call the Uber. And this is the airport fit. This is an Aritzia cardigan, Target tank top, the splits 59 leggings and my Air Force Ones and a hat. My hair is not gonna look good today, and that's what we've decided. So, see you all in a way. Close your eyes to get away. Just bang my line and I'll arrange it. Beautiful girl, you're stainless. You'll be fine, I'll be painless, yeah. All I'm drinking is champagne. Hola everyone, we made it to LA. I showed you a little bit of the office and how everything's been getting here so far. I am staying for the first half of this trip in a hotel that's nearby the office. It's called Hotel June. I'm gonna give you a little ring tour. This hotel is one that I'm staying in, paid for by Google, so we have like a cap on how much we can spend, so I opted for a more affordable one, but I wanted something that was really cute, and so this hotel was founded by the same people who made the Santa Monica proper, which is the nicest, like most gorgeous hotel. It's just very expensive. So this is a more budget-friendly, cozier version, and I wanted to give you a tour because it's really cute. And then I'm going to, for the weekend, stay at a nice hotel that I treat myself to, so that'll be in the next vlog. But this vlog, this is where I'm staying, and then I have basically 40 minutes before I need to leave to go to the event that I came here for. 
and I'm leaving during rush hour, so we're nervous, but I need to shower and everything because I look horrible. But here is a tour. So I got an apartment suite. This is the first bathroom. There are two full bathrooms in case two people would stay. This is a great closet. We've got a steamer, we've got a mini fridge, a safe, everything you need. This is the bedroom. So there's a mirror, queen size bed, window, TV, and then there's a sitting room, which is really nice. This is one of the more expensive options that they have. They have smaller rooms that are about just this size, but this one was in my budget, so I decided to get it. And then there's this large open area, another closet. Let's see if there's the same. Yes, there is another mini fridge, safe and steamer. And then there is a second full bathroom that has a much bigger shower. So I'll probably set up shop in here for getting ready. So yeah, they also have a fitness center, pool and everything. So I'm happy with my choice. And now I am going to unpack and get ready. I couldn't check in. One thing I didn't like about it was I could not check in early. They charge $35 to check in early. So I just went straight to the office looking like a freak, but whatever. Now I need to get ready for this event. This is my outfit. Laura. I believe that all of your dreams are the rations. You took my heart, all my keys, and my patience. You took my heart, all my sleep, and decoration. You mistake in my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to keep me something that I never had. Something that you never seen. Something that you never been. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends. It's now Wednesday, so yesterday was the event. It was our short Black History Month event. It was so fun, so well done. I'm so proud of the team that put it together. They did an amazing job. There were amazing creators. It was at a Black-owned restaurant called Alta. There was the amazing DJ. The food was incredible. There wasn't enough left for our team afterwards. So we went to dinner at this place called Margo, M-A-R-G-O-T and it's apparently very trendy it was really cute um but that meant that i stayed out till like midnight so when i or i stayed out till 11 so i got home at 11 30 and went straight to bed but still exhausted but so of course naturally at 5 30 because i am behind on time here so i just journaled and now i'm about to go walk to get a coffee but I wanted to end the vlog here because it's Wednesday and I figured that I'll show you the rest of my trip in the next vlog so that we can do, you know, a whole situation. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I hope that you remember that you're too smart to not love yourself. So subscribe, like this video. It does a lot for me. And see you later.